right, so Zach's talked a lot about of a lot of shark movies for Sharks of Summer. I figured you might as well at least do one video game, and I've been playing this on Game Pass. So I should put this out here. Anyway, so today we're taking a look back at review of Man Eater. Man Eater is a good foundation for a really good shark game that hasn't been made yet. Man Eater has a lot of good ideas that aren't fully explored. The idea of being this over the top rampaging shark for in a video game really could have been some gone somewhere. The game the game plays decent and has a good variety of moves. And you got your by your so stunning tail whip and your damaging dodge, but you unlock their most complete forms over time. And I wish this game progression started where it ended uh, there's a big emphasis on progression in this game you start out as playing as the mother of the shark and you have all the end game moves but then she dies and you're her baby shark and it's a bit of a slog to get big again the DLC seems like it might be better about that it has a shark shooting a laser on the cover but I don't know uh, there should be more mechanics in this game. In the late game, they re-emphasize this uh, throw mechanic uh, that you have. Uh, that you you have to use it to take down certain bosses. And although the, the throw targeting is really finicky in that mechanic, I would have rather they have had more low quality mechanics than so few good ones. Uh, the lock-on is bad. Uh, it always breaks instantly. The 360 combat subsequently can be a bit awkward, but it's not nearly as bad as it could have been because the uh, shark automatically gets pushed toward whatever enemies are nearby. The enemy variety isn't great, with uh, only fish, divers, and boats being the main three types of enemies, uh, with only slight variations within these types. But it is fun how you can grab the enemies off the boats though. Or even land on the boat. It's good that you regain the elf by eating enemies. It encourages you to eat like crazy. And Shane heal them. Uh, it can be a bit annoying going in and out of the water in this game. Uh, the camera has been unruly and on occasion. It does a full 180 flip. The mission of the designs is the game's worst feature. It's worse than Anthem. Most of them are go here and kill 10 humans or fish. And that's not in a fire belief, that's literally most of them. Some of the other ones are like boss fights, which are usually just stronger versions of regular enemies, almost always. There's also like finding uh, loot boxes, which aren't, there's not like paid loot boxes, there's just boxes within the game full of loot. And there's also like these landmarks to find in every area. And finding all those in one area, each are a mission. Oh, that being said, you know, like loot boxes aren't the first thing you think of to put in a good shark game. You know, they aren't like paid. And the equipment and upgrades aren't very in-depth in this game. The map starts out uh, in these shallow rivers. And it's a bit annoying to go through so many linear paths when you're underwater. Uh, towards the end it gets more open and actually can be, it's too open and, and leads to these really long swims. They should just set out along a middle ground for the whole game. The story is pretty minimal, uh, where they had this cable show shark hunter guy who killed your mother, and you have to eat stuff to get big and kill him. That bad guy and the and then the sort of lore in the game you hear about other bad guys and they're all cartoonishly evil, f the environment, especially sharks villains. Uh, luckily they don't. Try to make the shark altruistic somehow. You're just this crazy animal that, that likes eating everything. Uh, something, do, something does happen near the end of the game where they kind of try to make the bad guy more sympathetic. Which feels weird because most of the game has all as in being cartoonishly evil. Chris Parnell, uh, Dr. Spashiman from 30 Rock. Ladies! <gasps> what? 
No, no. I was at a costume party earlier this evening, and the hostess's dog attacked me, so I had to stab it. Narrates this game, and he has some good jokes, but unfortunately, most of the lines written for him are are cheap, uh, messed up environment or big business jokes, and they get re really repetitive. <laughs> Blah, 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 late stage capitalism. Uh, also, his individual lines get played a lot and get really repetitive and annoying, especially like the spawning in lines. Uh, the aesthetics are actually pretty good, uh, with a lot of good types of beach towns. You got like the poor and the rich ones, and they all look really interesting. Uh, but you do kind of wish you could go on land and see them better. Also, they put plenty of stuff underwater and the uh, Underwater for the mo environments for the most part aren't bland. Uh, there's also some landmarks that are fun Easter eggs and references. This trimaran, like many before it, was lost in its journey to the mythological dry land. You got like uh, the ship from Waterworld, the banana stand from uh, the banana stand from that show that I can't remember right now and I'll put in the name of it during the video probably. This game costs forty dollars and I don't think I'd pay that much for it unless I was a huge fan of shark games and shark stuff. But if you have game pass it's definitely worth checking out. And especially since you know you know you don't have to feel obligated to play it all the way through. Seeming like a, like a lot of Zack Sharks movies this game has a lot of good ideas that aren't really well developed. It's unique that it's a fleshed out shark game, but it's not as good as it could have been. Uh, it's a decent sharky time. I'm giving it a 7.37. That being said, there's not a lot of shark games. I know there's that one for, uh, that's like an ASIM multiplayer of uh, sharks versus treasure hunters, treasure hunting divers. But there's not much outside that. Uh, maybe I'll find more. Maybe at least one more Sharks of Summer next year for me. So that's about it. Thank you anyone who likes, comments, or subscribes. I'll have my playlist of all my stuff. Uh, if you have anything to say about this uh, Shark video games I should look into. What you think about this game. Please comment below. I'll respond. Thank you. That's it.